Hi folks, I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Eining, physical therapist. <laughs> and together we have the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. All right, this is not a typical situation. Brad and I do not go riding on a tandem bike. Let's first clear that, okay? Clear that up, Brad, so right, there's yeah. not any discussion about right, it. Right, exactly. We've had enough comments about that. Well, go on, yeah, Bob. Yeah, anyway, so this is, uh, the, this, the title of this program is Tandem Bikes, the 10 Best and Worst Things About Them. And uh, we're going to go over this. And um, actually, Brad is the one that owns this. And he rides this with his wife. Yes, someone married him, believe it or not. And uh, today, by the way, I see, Brad, a, a couple new people have wandered in to see yeah, us. Yeah, they're very interested in this topic. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Uh, if you are new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. And also, and. scoot over to Facebook and take oh, a second yeah. to like us because nobody likes us. Right. Someone's got to. Someone. We got to. It's a job. You're going to have right. to fulfill. So. Because we do care. So, Brad, this is very interesting to me because uh, I've never tried a tandem bike before. I mean, I bet you there's people that maybe want to try it and they, they want to know what are the good things about it and what are the bad things right. about it. Uh, that's exactly what happened. We, we both were bi bicyclists beforehand and we thought... You know, what about a tandem bike? So uh, back, even backing up before that, how long have these things been around? I would guess since um, I, I know the answer. Right. <laughs> yeah, since it's right the on the board. 18, since the 1890s, I yeah, would guess. Yeah, exactly. So a bit over 100 years. Uh, initially, they were used quite a bit for in wartime for transportation. I find that interesting. They yeah. actually used this during the war. Right. Well, you get two people on, on one bike, and sure. uh, there's some advantages to that. I'm but I can't even, imagine over the ground, rough ground that you'd have to... You whatever, know. Bob. Yeah. Don't worry about it. It's a long time ago. Uh, so we're going to talk about the, the best things and the worst things about, about these things. Um, yeah, if you've ever thought about trying one of these, you know, first listen to us. Right. You, and, and, there's some pitfalls. Right. And there's some good advantages. Uh, we've had this for seven years. Um, actually bought it for my wife for Valentine's Day on our very first Valentine's Day. Oh. Uh, how sweet. And that's a these nice, are romantic. Right, th these are, uh, they're a uh, novelty, Bob. That's the word I'm looking novelty? for. Novelty? Right. You know, the, the song, crazy, blah, blah, blah. Bicycle Bill oh, for Two. Oh, Bicycle Bill for Two. Right, okay. right. But for, for us, when we used to ride, and we still do ride our, rig, our individual R bikes. bikes. Yeah. Well, I like to ride to get my heart rate up. My, my wife is more of a recreational rider, and she's looking around more. So when we ride together, her speed would be so slow to absolutely drive me nuts because I was it's like I might as well just be walking or it's not sure, that slow but I'm not getting my heart rate there up. was no exercise right I wanted to get my heart rate up get and a she's, she's going oh, I want to see the scenery I want to enjoy right. myself and, and she does want to ride fast she likes to get her heart rate up too but not as aggressive as me here's your answer if you anybody out there has that situation with your with your partner riding bike and you want to get your heart rate up the other person is not so concerned you at different levels and you both want to get your heart rate up get on a tandem so because are you saying that one person can work harder than the other each person can be maxing out as hard as they want or one can person can be maxing out and the other person can be going just for the ride it does not matter for either person so how hard a work is that if you're doing almost all the pedaling is that I mean, very difficult. It doesn't matter. It's just, just pedaling hard. Okay. I, I mean, I can tell sometimes, like if Julie kicks in to go up a hill, because she's pretty got pretty strong legs. Um, but I don't care. It, it doesn't matter to me if she's pedaling hard or if she's not pedaling at all. I don't care. Because it, it just changes your speed a little bit is all it does. Okay. As long as the cadence of the pedal is, is acceptable to both You've people. You've got this thing really geared up, by the way. I mean, there's t two water bottle holders here and two over here. That would make four. And Yeah, which seems like a lot to me, but I, I, I guess I don't Well, if it's a hot that. day like today yeah. and you're going to go for a two-hour ride, you'll drink them. Oh, sure. And then I you got will. the little mirror We're getting here. to that, Bob. We're getting oh, to that. Gonna, okay, so number that. two. Okay, All right. number two. They get a lot These of attention. These are the best things. Yeah, yeah, the best thing. They get a lot of attention. You're going to be going downtown. Everyone looks, and they wave at you. If you oh, ride your do. bike, if you're just riding your bike, it's like, oh, you're just a biker. Sometimes they yeah. like you. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they don't Kids like always love a tan. Oh, do they? Yeah, and, and women do, too, a little bit more, I think. Oh, look at that. The couple so riding like together. like a little celebrity yeah. there going down the road. <laughs> do you wear matching outfits, by the way? We just have one matching outfit. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. Uh, but other than that, we, we don't. 
Um, I was joking, but you do, huh? Yeah, well, we <laughs> bought them together once. We were on vacation. You know how that goes. All right. And so the next thing. Now, the, the person in front is called the captain. The person in the back is called the stoker. There are some other terms, but that's, Makes what, sense. that's, what, we, yeah. that's what we refer to each other as. A, and the stoker, the nice thing about riding in the back is you can not pay attention to where you're going at all. You can look at the scenery to the right, look at to the right, to the left. That really is a positive right. thing. Yeah, and you can take pictures or videos while you're on the bike because you don't have to worry about it. You just sure. go ahead and do it. There, there's one uh, thing about that. You need to pay attention. Your job in the back is to see what's coming on for oh, on from the back. oncoming cars for safety. Sure. You don't have to. This person can do it. But so if you're on a trail, it's, it's a lot safer. Issue, but, right, if yeah. you're on a trail. Exactly. Yeah. Good. Well, yeah, exactly. Okay, oh. the next thing is they're very safe. They're safer than a regular bike if each person does their job. If you think about it, the person in the front, all I have to do is pay attention to what's in front of me. Sure. If you're by yourself, you have to pay attention to what's in front of you and what's behind you. Right. And to look behind you, you can't see what's in front of you. Plus, you might go off the road and get on the shoulder and wipe out. Yeah, I have a, you know, I have a situation with my bike where at one point I, I go on a sidewalk. It's yeah. just a really bad spot. And, and then I have to one point veer onto the road. But I'm like, I don't know if a car's coming. Mm -hmm. So it's a real dangerous maneuver. I look, right. and then I, I gotta make the decision yep. very quickly if I'm gonna go on the road. So on a tandem, this person, the stoker's job is to see what's going behind. And we got a system going. When we're pedaling, if there's a car coming behind me, my wife taps me right on the buttocks. Wow. Yeah, it, she's not getting frisky. <laughs> If that's there's two cars, she taps me twice. If there's one car, she taps me once, and, and so on and so if forth. If she's mad at you, she's slapping you. Huh? Right. Well, that's a whole other story. Yeah. She's got a stick for that. Yeah, right. Yeah, and then a whip on the other <laughs> and side. And a prod. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but no, so they can be safer if everyone does their job. Um, the other thing is, is communication. You ever ride bikes together? All right. And you try to talk to your partner. You got to be side by side pretty much, and then a car comes, or you get you know, tight, then you gotta go behind each yeah. other. Then it's harder to talk, but so here- you can talk the whole time. Right, you're only three feet apart. Sure. Except for when you get over 20 miles an hour, too much wind goes by your ears and then you can't hear. But the big advantage of that is, I can always say, I didn't hear you, dear, the wind was going by my ear <laughs> in case I wasn't listening. So there's big advantages to, to you both. You can play it to work however it works best for <laughs> exactly. you. Exactly, all right. So and then, now what are the downsides? So those were the top, five things, I mean, I mean, things that were positive, right. and now we're gonna go Pretty over much. the five things that are kind of worse right. about it. Number one, the cost. You're probably not gonna get a cheap tandem. They don't make a lot of them. Uh, they're built heavy, so they don't fall apart. Sure. This one I bought used for $1,000. If you buy a new one like this, you're probably gonna spend three to 5,000. Wow. This is aluminum frame. If you got a carbon graphite, I don't even know yeah, where the cost can of, go. Yeah, out of range Exactly. Almost. Next thing, hard to transport, you know? How are you gonna get this thing on a bike rack? Most yeah. bike racks are not made for this. I made my own custom one. It works out really well in my I truck. I just helped uh, Brad take it off that rack. You did a nice job, by the way. It's oh, really you. well built and, and I mean, it, Brad's a handy guy. So, I mean, it's not something I think the average person's gonna be able to do very easy. But it wasn't real difficult. If you got a truck, if you got a pickup, it's much easier than if you have a car. If you put it sideways across the car, <laughs> and you're going down the road and a car comes close to you and clips off the front wheel, well, so much for that. Does so this one fit? Would this fit in the bed of a, a normal truck? Do you think? Yeah, yeah. Oh. It's it, if you got a, I got if a you took the tire off. I got a five foot, five foot bed, and I can still fit it in. Oh, you can. It sticks out the end, but whatever. You okay. Know? Put a little red flag on it, or let it flop around. Sure. Okay. Uh, storage space. If you got some bikes in your garage already, a lawnmower, this and that, and the other thing, they take up more room. Sure. We actually hang ours from the ceiling. You do. Yeah, put it, pull it up, got a pulley system, and get it up and then tilt you it up. You got a pulley system. It works good. <laughs> Again, that's Brad. <laughs> they, Mr. You can, Handy. <laughs> all right. Higher maintenance. You know, you got to change chains on a bike every now and then. The back chain is a standard length. The front chain is not. You have to buy two chains and put it together to make one chain. For you the front. To, you have to change the chains on bikes? I Man, I'm serious. I'm asking this, so I need well, to yeah, do this? Oh, yeah, they wear out. Yeah, oh, you should. I, I, have to, I, sh I, I should change mine every two years, but I, I wait. I don't, we don't put that many miles on. But, yeah, you've got to change them because they stretch. And when they stretch, then the sprockets wear out. When the sprockets wear out, then it costs a lot well, of I money. i got to take mine in then, apparently. I uh, probably need a new chain. Oh, no, of course. Know that. Uh, so, then they're going to say new sprockets, too, so be this, prepared for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, so the next one, this, we talked about this, this is a stoker. stoker. And that, 
and Stoker, you, yeah. Captain. Right, and Marcy over here who tried one out with her husband, yeah. she said, you can't see anything in front. The first time we got on this bike, my wife said, I don't like this, I can't see anything in front of me. We rode a little bit longer than she realized. Oh, She could see everything to and the she side. Does, right, and you don't have to, to see pay, where you're going. You, you don't have, have to pay attention. Right, and, so. exactly. Um, I saw a t-shirt, by the way, Brad, about the captain, and the captain says that the captain's always right, always listen to the captain, I'm the captain. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, that, 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 that person doesn't bring up that person. Yeah, it, it is that person's more in control, and this one's got to kind of go where they're going to go, right? Right. And the next video, we're going to talk about that as well as get more detail. But one of the negative things about the tandem bike is it can cause friction <laughs> between the two people, and perhaps an argument. Um, sure. And I'm going to. There's some personality types, and, and actually, we bought this bike from a couple who got divorced. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so it can push you one way or the other. Yeah, exactly. Together be, or apart. Yeah, exactly. So be careful yeah. if, you're, if you're considering those. Could be a deal breaker. Right. And so. if you rent one, a rental tandem, usually are really poor fitting. It's made for one size fits all. I mean, sure. it's not gonna fit anybody. You know, Bob could not ride this bike. You're way too tall. Your knees would be up to your, you know, if you're pedaling, you'd yep. be very uncomfortable in a matter of miles. So. Um, the rentals are not very rep very representative of a bike, so we've got this adjusted to fit us. And if we went and used a rental, we would say, "This is not right." Do it. Yeah. yeah. And by the way, also, you don't want to rent one of those bikes that has two in the front and two in the back. Have you ever seen those? Yeah. <laughs> those are awful. Yeah. Those you work like. I, I mean, every time we just laugh because we lived. Uh, we have a cabin down on a trail. Right. And we just laugh when people are coming because you can see they're upset. They're yelling at each other because you work so hard on those things and you barely move. Yeah. So they're. I mean, never right. rent one of those. So, so if you're more interested in a tandem or you're bored out of your mind and you haven't turned the, the video off a long time ago, but if you're interested, that we're gonna have another video on the uh, ten things you need to know if you're gonna buy one because there are some really interesting things about getting one that's going to make your life much easier after you purchase one to make to make sure there's no friction and the bike goes smoothly. All so. right, so let your marriage go smoothly too. All right, <laughs> thanks for watching.